welcome to Real Cooking at Home. My name is Mark, and today we are doing some real cooking at home because we're doing one of our go-to meals. It is our rice and sage stuffed pork chops with a nice mushroom sauce to go over the top of it. And we're also going to be doing tonight some smashed potatoes with roasted garlic, loads of butter and sour cream. It's going to be delicious. So, Wayne has done a lot of mise en place while I have been at work, and we're about to get ready to roll. But I want to tell you about this pork chops. This is our pork chops, and all this is, is a pork tenderloin that we bought on sale at Kroger. Now, what Wayne has done, he's cut them in about an inch and a quarter slices, and he's made a pocket. All you do is take a paring knife, go on one side of it, make your pocket so that you can stuff it. Now, this is about an inch long, and you just run your pair knife through there and make a nice little pocket to stuff it with. Now, let's talk about our stuffing. This is two shredded carrots, two small shredded carrots. Right here, I've got some sage, salt, and pepper that we're going to throw in. I've also got some scallions. That's about four scallions that I chopped up and throw it in. And this is two cups of cooked rice. And this is going to make our stuffing. There, we're going to stuff into the pork chops. Now, you'll probably, if you just want to do like four pork chops, you can cut this in half. And I'm going to post the recipe for this on Facebook. Okay, now this is our stuffing. Just going to give it a taste. You like that? Mmm, <laughs> mmm, it's good. All right, so I've got my pork chop, it's got my pocket, and I'm just going to take this, and this is messy, this is the tedious part, but I'm going to stuff these pork chops just like this with my finger, and you want a good amount of stuffing in your pork chops. I tell you what, y'all, sage goes so good with pork. <laughs> you hear my baby? Over there barking at the wind. Alright, there's your pork chop. And you'll feel it's like hard in the middle where that stuffing is. But that's what our finished pork chop will look like. I'm going to put it down. And I'm going to continue on. And I'm going to stuff the rest of these. And we'll come back and we'll talk about the sauce. And we'll get these in the oven. Okay. We've stuffed our pork chops with that rice, carrot, sage, salt, pepper mixture that's wonderful. And right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to season the outside of them. So just a little bit of salt and pepper on the outside. A little sprinkling of salt. Some freshly ground black pepper. Just like that. And some garlic powder. And just give them a flip. Now y'all, the stuffing in here Typically, if you stuff something with a, like a loose stuffing, you would need to put a toothpick in. But with this, there's really no need to toothpick it because that rice and sage and stuff's not going anywhere. So, Now, our oven is preheated at 375 degrees, and y'all know I cannot cook meat without my meat thermometer. So I'm going to put the thermometer in, but with this pork chop, you can't put it in the center because that's where the rice is. So, you want to put your meat thermometer in the thickest part of your pork, which is at the back where you didn't make that pocket, where the pocket ends. So, we're going to cook that to 160 degrees, no more, or your pork chops will be dry, and there's nothing worse than dry pork. So, we're going to cook this to 160 degrees internally, and they'll be done. So I'm going to put these in the oven, and we're going to come back and we'll work on our mushroom sauce that goes over the top of these pork chops. Okay, our pork chops are doing great things in the oven. So right here, what I have are two pints of mushrooms. Now, this is a combination. This is shiitake and button mushrooms. So what I'm going to do is add these to some melted butter that I have over here. And this is about four tablespoons of butter. And I'm going to brown my mushrooms. Now, y'all, mushrooms happens to be one of my all-time favorite things. I adore mushrooms. I've never met a mushroom that I didn't like. 
So I've got my mushrooms and my about four to five tablespoons of butter. And we're just gonna brown these up. Now the side dish that we're gonna make with our pork chops is a smashed new potato with roasted garlic. Now Wayne went ahead today and roasted off a garlic clove. And you can do that by just wrapping a garlic clove in some aluminum foil, drizzle it with olive oil, pop it in the oven for about 35 to 40 minutes at 350 until it's soft. Then let it cool and just squeeze all that garlic goodness out of that garlic clove. And we're going to put that in these potatoes. So I've got my water here, really good and salted. This is my new potatoes. Now I want to make sure these are all about the same size, so the bigger ones, I'm just going to cut these in half so that everything cooks about the same time. So I've got my salted water, tastes like the ocean, and I'm going to drop my potatoes in. Turn those on because you always want to start your potatoes in cold water so they cook evenly. And we're just going to let those go until they're tender. So we'll see you in a few. Now y'all look how, how these cook down. All those mushrooms cook down to that. And they're soft, they're tender. So now we're moving on to make our sauce. So what I need is about four tables, or four teaspoons, I mean, of flour. All-purpose flour. We'll dump that in. And you want to cook this flour down so all the flour taste is gone out of it. So just cook that down a little bit. A couple of minutes. Doesn't take long. Just so that dry flour taste is out. Now to this, I'm going to add in a little bit of salt, about a teaspoon, a little pepper, about a half a teaspoon, right there. We're going to slowly add a cup of milk. One cup of milk. Okay. Slowly. And now we've got our milk and our mushrooms, and this comes together real quick. So that's bubbly. So what we're going to do now is add in a half a cup of sour cream and just a small handful of flat leaf parsley, just like that. And just like that, your sauce is done. And y'all, this is so good over the pork chops. And it's so good over them smashed potatoes. Alright, now our pork chops are done. Our sauce is done. So what I'm going to do is smash these potatoes up with a fork. They're real good and tender. And we're not doing mashed potatoes. We're doing smashed potatoes. These new potatoes. They're gorgeous. So just smash those up with a fork. And right here, I'm going to put in three quarters of a stick of butter. And this is that wonderful garlic that Wayne roasted off today. And you're not going to believe the flavor that that will add, y'all. Now, I've got my salt. I'm just going to do this to taste. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. Sour cream. Nothing goes better on potatoes, y'all, than sour cream and butter. So that's about a quarter cup of sour cream. A little bit of milk just to make everything groove a little better and just mix all this up together and that's our roasted garlic smashed potatoes okay y'all it's time to eat and I'm so excited I've got my smashed potatoes and my stuffed pork chop with this pretty plate this is our fiesta ware and I'm going to spoon some sauce right over the top of everything look and I cannot wait to taste this. i my fork right here. Now, first off, the potatoes. That roasted garlic, mushroom sauce. Mm. The mushrooms are so good. Sour cream, perfect. And you're not going to believe, y'all, what the parsley does. If a recipe calls for parsley, you have to add it because it does so much. I need a knife. Right there. Here. I'll just use this one. Taste this pork chop now. Rice and sage stuffed 
pork chop with that mushroom sauce. I'm going to put me some mashed potatoes on it just like that. It's no wonder that this is a go-to dish for us because it's so good. The pork, 160 degrees, let it rest for about 10 minutes, perfect, not dry. Everybody's had a dry pork chop and it's not pleasant, but this is so good. Follow us on Facebook, subscribe to YouTube, comment, make this recipe. And y'all, until next time, get in the kitchen and cook. Bye, y'all. Get to the bar. I'm going to, don't you worry.